Hello friends, my name is Sumit and you are watching CDX Cloud Tech Videos. So today we are going to see how to load balance your internal storefront servers on the Netscaler and how to secure those uh, storefront servers. So you guys can see that today I have two storefront servers, SFSVR01 and SFSVR02. So both these storefront servers are there. So after that, I have to log in into my Netscaler. So let me go inside my Netscaler, which is ns1.ctxcloud.in so after that i have to log in into this netscaler press enter and here you have to go inside traffic management then load balancing then click on servers so once you will click on server you have to enter your storefront servers along with the ip address so the, you have to ensure you have the correct entities here so whatever the configuration on your storefront servers so you have to mention here so click on add and give the first storefront server name here which is ctx sf svr01 and let me check the ip address of this server is 16 so click on properties and let's copy the ip address from here and paste it inside netscaler so click on create and you guys can see that green check mark here click on add and i have to add give this name ctx sf svr02 and give the ip address 16 node 17 so 16 is my first storefront server and 17 is my second storefront server so click on create and it is good to go so now i have added my both the storefront server inside servers so go to traffic management then load balancing and then servers so you have to add your physical servers here so whatever the host name on your uh, even storefront server and the ip address or it can be any web server or any type of servers which you want to load balance so first of all you have to add inside servers the host name and then ip address of that server after that i am going inside services and inside services i have to add and give the name any name you can give related to your storefront server let's say i am giving svc service and then sf1 so from here you can select choose existing server and from the drop down i'm going to select ctx svr01 so these backend servers are running on my https because i have already installed the certificate on both the uh, storefront servers and you guys can see my first playlist where i have installed the storefronts uh, i mean web uh, secure certificates on the storefront so you guys can go there and watch that video from where you can get the idea how to install the certificate on a storefront server so here i am selecting the protocol as ssl so http or ssl works on port number 443 so i am selecting this port number 443 click on ok and you guys can see that go to down and click on done so my first service for the storefront has been configured successfully and it is showing up these are my backend servers for the web uh, web based application so these are, these are showing down so whenever you will configure any of the service here make sure this is up and running if this is not end up, up and running make uh, th this seems that there is a backend communication failed from the netscaler to backend server again i am going to add my second uh, service for the secondary storefront server so i am just putting svc sf2 and select the existing server and select the second storefront server here this is ctx sf svr02 and the ip address is 17 select the same protocol ssl and port number 443 click on ok and go to drop down and click here done so you guys can see that my both the storefront services is up and running now so you have to save this configuration and this is saved now next one is you have to configure your virtual server here so i am going to click on add and give the name is load balance lb underscore whip underscore S G O R E F R O N T storefront underscore internal. So I have given this website name internal apps dot ctx cloud dot in. Here I have to select SSL because I am using certificate on my storefront server. So select SSL. IP address you have to give your IP address. So this can be an auxiliary IP address where your DNS will redirect the traffic on this IP address. So I am giving 192.168.1.85 click on ok so it is saying that resource already exists okay let me give this another ip address 86 click on done 
here you have to select both the services either you can uh, show a service group you can bind with the service group or with the individual service so both the methods i have shown if you go in my first playlist and play the video number 11 so add the add there i have configured this the same thing with service group now i have binded this with serv uh, virtual service so from here you have to select the service binding select here and select both the services for storefront 1 and storefront 2 click on select click on bind click on continue here you have to bind your certificate for this uh, internal apps.ctxcloud.in so for this website you have to find the certificate so i have already one certificate in my storefronts uh, i mean at scalar i am going to select this wildcard certificate click on select click on bind click on continue after that click on done and you guys can say see this this configuration has saved successfully now if i will enter my website https internal apps.ctxcloud.in and you guys can see that this website cannot be reached so if you guys face such type of issues from where you will start your troubleshooting okay so first i have to check i have entered cmd then ns lookup internal apps.ctxcloud.in and you guys can see that it reached to my dns server and after that communication get failed that means our dns is not reaching to this ip address where we have configured 86 and let me go inside this so for the internal apps we have configured the ip address 186 but whenever we have tried to ns lookup it reached to my dns server after that it fails means dns the server is not able to find any record in their directory so that it can send the traffic to ip address 186 okay let me go inside my here dns server and let me create a host entry it's saying internal apps and give the ip address 192.168.1.86 click on add click on done click on done right click click on refresh okay so you guys can see that i have added one dns record for my website let me go inside this and try to enter this nslookup.internalapps.ctxcloud.in press enter and now you guys can see that first it will reach to my dns server then dns server give the ip address okay if you want to go to the internal apps to do ctxcloud.in you have to go on 192.168.1.86 so this is the perfect way how the dns will work okay now let me try to access my website and you guys can see that this time website get accessed but with a error message so this is showing cannot complete request and uh, most of the you guys who are working with uh, citric as a citrix administrator and you guys have seen this error message many times so how to fix this okay so let me go inside my net scaler so i know there is a configuration missing in while configure this internal apps.ctxcloud.in so click here click on edit this with and here you have to mention first is the method what method you want to use so either you can use list connection or round robin so i am going with the default configuration list connection click on ok click on done ok click on save configuration let me re re try to refresh this website and still it is giving an error ok again go to this load balance width click on edit and here you have to select persistence click on persistence and click on source ip base and click on 20 and click on done and click on done so again save the netscaler configuration click on save okay let me try to refresh this website wow it is working now so let me try to enter my credentials here and click on logon and you guys can see that my storefront works so in that way you guys can troubleshoot you guys you guys can load balance your internal storefront servers you guys can troubleshoot in the in my way how i troubleshoot uh, the issue so you guys have seen all the things live with me so hope you guys like my video hope you guys uh, subscribe my channel and such type of videos you will get on my channel so thank you thank you so much guys in our next video we are going to configure our store for service with the citrix gateway how you guys can configure your citrix gateway and how you guys can access your internal application whatever the desktop you have published whatever the uh, web servers you have published how you guys can access outside your organization with the help of citrix gateway you guys can 
see in my next video so just stay connected with the ctx cloud thank you thank you so much guys